We didn't just see one snake, we saw two snakes. Oh my god! <laughs> what I got from Glasson. <laughs> just can't believe how cheap this shop is. This is my outfit, a little Target haul. Welcome back to Australia. Hello guys and welcome to the third Australia vlog. We just got to Queensland and we just arrived at the Gold Coast. I'm so excited because this is one of the places that has probably been the most, I'm just going to walk away from the road, probably been the most recommended by you guys to me because it's meant to be like the most beautiful beaches and it's so crazy because it's like city skyscrapers but then the beach is literally there so we're so excited we're going to be here for about three four days but if you've never watched me before then me and my boyfriend are currently road tripping the east coast of australia and this is like our second week here so we've been to melbourne been to sydney and now we're at the gold coast and i'm so excited to be here so eight foot of the day this is the fit cameraman take it away okay the hat is asos little green cap the top is another version in bone second skin my favorite top ever boohoo shorts balance 530s i think they are and then i just stole this bag off my best friend for the trip so thank you first on the agenda i really want a coffee i haven't had one today and we love to ride the line bikes whenever we come somewhere new and i feel like it just helps you explore the new place so we're going to jump on these have a little ride around grab a coffee just to, like get our surroundings it is raining low key, isn't it yeah not it's just like spitting so that's why i got the cap on because i just washed my hair so yeah that's what we're up to today but get excited because we're going to have the best week ever It's really nice, guys. 10 out of 10. Ollie even agreed. Best coffee we've had so far this holiday. So I feel like the coffee in Melbourne was unreal. And we were like, oh my God, the coffee here is amazing. Like everyone says the coffee's so good. And then as soon as we got to Sydney, it honestly just went down. But this, we're back on the up. It's called 26 degrees, I think. 26 in sunny. It's literally here, right on the sea. Cute. Yeah. Guys, we made it to Surface Paradise. I don't know if you can tell on that, but it says Surface Paradise across. Seeing you in there, you go, Surface Paradise. And here we are in the heart of it. I, I think this is like the city centre, isn't it? Yeah. There's like a McDonald's, um, Hungry Jacks. It's not Burger King here, it's Hungry Jacks. I was so confused when I first saw it, because I was like, that's the... Burger King logo and then my friend was like no that is actually Burger King so weird Universal store they had one of those in Byron Bay oh there's that no it's not it's had a really beautiful dress and I was really tempted to buy it but it's like 80 pounds well it was 160 dollars and I was like do I need it probably not but it was really beautiful and um, so we just have a little wonder around it feels very touristy like feels very American here would you say more than anywhere else like very like Miami I can imagine because it's like the contrast between the big city shops and like huge shopping centre to the beach but it's cool it's cool. It's cool this is the view see it's like very bright um paradise centre i think that must be like a shopping mall oh no it looks bowling and time zone i don't know it must be some entertainment grilled we love so there's what we're up to Good morning guys, welcome to day two on the Gold Coast. It is currently night, is it nine or eight? Yeah, it's nine. We are just about to leave. We're gonna to go to a national park because there's so many beautiful national parks in Australia and we haven't actually like properly visited any. We drove through one like really beautiful rainforest and like we stopped and had a little look around and then we did stay over at one last week and that was beautiful but this is meant to be like unreal it's about an hour well an hour and one minute away from us so we thought it's worth the journey out because we don't want to just keep, keep like sitting by the beach sitting by the beach sitting by the beach there's only so many times we really want to do that and i feel like the further up like the beaches are only going to get better so it's like fun to do something different today so we're going to head there what's it called it's only 19 minutes on. Um, yeah those are the moments you need to put that you literally released a new one on 
one day. We're obsessed with um, Diary River CEO. It's literally got us through all the driving because I love it anyway, and so does all. So whenever we're together, we're like, Stephen, talk us through it. It's called. I'm not sure what it's called. What's that? Uh, Springbrook. Springbrook National Park. Starting route to Springbrook National Park. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so head we'll west on Mariner Avenue, then turn left. So we'll see you guys when we're there. We're gonna probably have to grab some breakfast or something on the way, aren't we? Fancy subway. You fancy a subway? Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We probably won't be there all day, probably just be there like in the morning and then yeah. I think we've actually got way more of the city to actually see. I think what we saw yesterday was more just like surface paradise. I think more that way. Oh, shit, uh, you know what I've done and done? What? You listened to the new one, I didn't you? Yeah? to the new one, yeah. I <laughs> think you're going to do that. <laughs> he wanted to listen to one the other day and I was like, yeah, that's fine. I said, but don't listen to the new one. That's all right. Pass it here. I'll find us a good one. You are naughty. The poo scientist. If your poo looks like this, I haven't got my belt on. No, I'm not interested. I am. I'm like risk of bowel cancer. Well, I'm in the wrong way. The wrong way. Oh no, we're going off the wrong way. Okay. Um. What about this? The, we love the loved ones and the sex ones. The love expert. We've built a loveless society, and it's making us turn depressed. right. Then turn right. Yeah. Elaine de Botton. So we just stopped for a little breakfast. Ollie got a subway, got a coffee, it's really nice. Right, one sec, you're just on them. The Australian girls are gonna be like, duh, obviously that's what it is, but I was in the, sh in the shop and they had these things called cannolis. We don't have these in England. I got a lemon cheesecake one and I got a custard one because I thought that's a good. Right, they look like, I don't know. Filled donuts. Uh, I think this is the custard one, but we're gonna try them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good. Oh. That's incredible. Less, I want, I want, I've got a different flavour here. This is lemon, this one is. That one's just custard. This is lemon cheesecake. That's good. We do like ourselves a bit of lemon. I don't think you could just beat the classic. No, see which one you prefer. I'd say stay safe with the custard, but the lemon's still nice. No, I know you would definitely be preferring the custard. Pass me the lemon. I brought the lemon one. If we were sticking to what I brought them for, I brought that one for you anyway. Have it, because no. I, I could tell by your face when you had it, you prefer this one. No, Go give on. it back. Thanks. It's all nice. But that. Oh, see, that's why I don't really like donuts that much, because there's so much dough. Whereas that is like, the best bit of a crispy donut, but filling. Mmm. That was nice. It was so nice. I needed that, you know. Me too. The sandwich was so salty. Really? Oh, I thought you meant just spiritually. <laughs> no. We went there. It's called Egg Wash Bike Shop. And they were really lovely in there. The lady made our coffees and apparently they bake everything on site. So that was cute. So yeah, breakfast stop done and I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, we made it literally in the middle of this. Looks like a rainforest. I think there's waterfalls nearby from the the signs. I can't remember then it began with a P, didn't it? Peru 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 Where we are? Yeah. Or rubber, or rubber falls or something, but I'll show you. We're just gonna go for a little walk. There's no like Springbrook. No, I know that, but where we actually are, because we're not part we're part of the falls. Oh my god, book. Oh god, god knows what we're gonna see here. This is what it's called guys. Purling. I was so off. Purling Brook Falls. <laughs>
Guys, we made it. That was honestly, I've never been so scared in my life. We saw two snakes, we saw an iguana, a lizard, I don't even know, but we had to run. We're yeah, so scary, but we made it, so let me show you. Look how beautiful. I've never seen anything like this in my new life. You, you live here now as well? So nice. Yeah. Okay guys, story time of how, of how we didn't just see one snake, we saw two snakes. I can't put you down anywhere because when anything touches the bottom of my camera, the camera decides to turn off, so it's kind of inconvenient. So, the walk itself, really nice. Like, it's so nice to see a different side of Australia. It's like, unspeakable beauty. Like, it's insane. Like, especially the waterfall, like, everywhere you look, you're like, <gasps> you know. So, we were probably about five minutes into the walk right ten minutes yeah not not far like i was feeling quite happy about it and i just looked to my left and i wasn't that like this one wasn't that scary but it was probably four meters like into the if you see like there's paths and then like greenery we were still in like quite built up paths at this point i saw like the back of a snake and it, i could like you can like hear them can't you like slither yeah, and i was like yeah. oh my fucking god i was like you there's a snake hear, like them little newts so you can never be sure what it yeah. is yeah but like i just saw the back of it and i was like ollie there's the fucking snake and he was like well go go and all, all i saw was the back of it so like it was kind of scary so i was like jesus the snakes obviously but it was like a dark gray and gray color so also side note if any of you follow she's called jess daskin i want to say her name is um she's like an irish girl her boyfriend was Aust well i think he's australian he lives in australia and she's recently moved over here like permanently i believe and she did a little like story time of her first experience of a snake in australia and she was like they were walking 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 the path got really thin and then basically her boyfriend was in front he starts like screaming shit himself and was like run like there's a snake so they like legged it and she was like the worst thing after researching it that you can do is run from a snake but she was like, it was a dark brown. She like said Wait, this. This is what I was saying. What is it? Yeah, this. Is it bad? You can't know that looks fucking scary. Oh my God, is it bad? One sec, I haven't got to this part of the story yet though. Oh, so she was like, it was a dark brown snake. She was like, they're the second deadliest. And I commented saying, I do not claim this energy, like haha. But like, she was really scared. And then, so probably another like 15 minutes into the walk, we're walking 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 there's like a few steps a few steps like getting close enough to the waterfall like probably 15 minutes from the waterfall at this point 10 minutes and ollie's in front of me and out of both of us i'm going to be the overreactor i'm going to be the screamer i'm going to be the like ah. ollie starts going what did you say you just like jumped in the air didn't you yeah yeah and like I turned around started running and, and like pushed me to run and i go ah! like scream he said i sound like a monkey and i'm like so we're like running he's like it's a snake he's like run so we're running and through the back of my head i'm thinking it's chasing us because all i saw was like a glimpse of it on the floor because obviously ollie was in front of us so this is what it was is it deadly could it have killed us uh i ain't got that far in it yeah it it's called a dendrolaphis punctualita guys i just can't tell you like the sweat was pouring out of us both like i was actually yeah. going like this and it's a snake of south east queensland that's where we are isn't it? yeah 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 my hands were shaking like it was so scary and i just thought it was chasing us so, like we ran for like only probably like 30 seconds and then like, obviously it, it hadn't chased us it had just gone up across the path but like you were really close to it weren't you yeah like a step and the only other snake we've ever seen like that is over the chase which is where we live and we had sasha with us and was it were you in front, then Sash, then me? Because at this point, Sasha wasn't that slow and she'd walk faster than me. Oh, the non-venomous, though. The non-venomous. Oh, my God, thank the Lord. <sighs> thank, thank you, Dad. Thank you. Because I was literally like, after I saw the first snake, I was a bit scared. And then we saw a white feather on the floor. And there's no feathers, like, in the middle of the rainforest. And I was like, oh, my God, I was like, that's my dad. I was like, my dad's not going to let us see a snake or, like, get eaten by a snake. And then literally five minutes later, I saw that snake and I thought... Screw you, Stu. <laughs> Screw you. Yeah. So it's not for, can I see? Yeah. What was it called? Um, so then we turned around and we were like, fuck this. Like, we're not even going to bother seeing the, the waterfall because we were too scared, weren't we? Yeah. We were really frightened. Are you sure it was that one? I feel like it was more yellow. 
No, it was defo yellow and brown, but I thought it had a yellow back, but he has a yellow belly apparently. Either way, it's scary. To be fair, it says can be either grey, olive green, various shades of brown, black, even blue and turquoise. Oh, I can feel them yeah, all on the me. it's the yellowness. It's scary. Well, yeah, because when do you ever see a yellow thing? It's like, it was like a luminous one. Was... To get some context, it was like... Yeah, it was more like that from yeah, what I yeah, saw. Yeah. This is what we saw. So it was really scary. And like we were like, screw this up. We're not even going to go. Like We're just going to turn around. But then I looked at how far we'd walked, and we'd walked for over half an hour, and it was only an hour walk. So I was like... Oh, I feel like we probably should go back a couple which were really nice weren't they they were from the Philippines and they live here and they were walking towards the waterfall so we were like we'll just follow you and then we thought if there's any snakes and we saw uh, what was it iguana yeah and even that I got a nollies back because at this point I just couldn't like I've just been filled with anxiety I don't deal well with that with danger with like seeing things so but the waterfall was lovely but that is our experience and hopefully our only experience of snakes in australia i don't want to see another snake as nice as these places are it's just the anxiety yeah but like my heart was going like that there was a girl walking on her own she was behind us on the way back and i was like are you walking on your own she's like yeah she's like i'm from two hours away she's like i haven't walked on my own first i thought what would possess you to come here I know it's beautiful, but it's scary. To be on your own. She was walking close to us. I feel like she felt safer to be with people. Mm. But I was like, I can't believe it. Anyway, you guys are going to die. So that's our story of seeing a snake. Hopefully the last one. I mean, there's loads of people here, so it can't be awful, but it was just very scary. Um, so we're going to drive back now. What time is it? Half 12? Yeah. Is it? That's so early. Yeah. Why have you got the whole afternoon? Right, we'll see you guys back at the Gold Coast. Hello guys, we got back, still kind of traumatised, but we're living through the pain. <laughs> we have come for lunch because I was so hungry. I think I could have napped, but I was so hungry. So we've come, it's like called Tender Street, or like Tedder Street. There's just like bars, restaurants, there's like a Pilates studio. It's just like quite a cute little street. And I've ordered a chai, and I've noticed this a few times in the menus, that you can add ice cream to coffee, to chai, to mockers, matcha. So I've done it here. I've asked for an ice chai with ice cream. We've ordered two chicken burgers. I'll show you when it comes, but I was like, what the hell, we never get that in England. Suppose it's here. I'm so confused. It gives me like coke boat vibes from Frankie and Benny's. Like I need to. Mm. I haven't had a chai for a while. Good. Yeah. I really want to try it. It's nice. Do you want a bit of ice cream or do you want to like? No, I want to sip it. Go on then. It's really good, guys. We should do this at home. Guys, look, this looks incredible. We've got the chicken burger and the chips look insane. Welcome to Brisbane. Well, it's not really Brisbane right now. We're about 15 minutes out, but we've just found somewhere to park the van and we're going to head into Brisbane. I'm really excited because I was actually chatting randomly to two girls on Instagram last night who actually live here. So they sent me loads of recommendations. We were going to have two nights here, but we're just going to have the one night here because we like want to get back to the beach and live in that more like slower beach sort of life. So we've just booked a night here i mean we might feel different like when we're going to brisbane but we want to go to the sunshine coast next and we also want to spend three nights in noosa because that's meant to be like one of the most beautiful beaches so i'm not really bothered about like spending loads of time here as nice as it seems so this is the fit today Pro um not primark, plt top primark earrings coach bag zara shorts and i've just got my new balance on as always um, obviously you'll see the outfit a little bit better but we actually went shopping this morning and I actually got a lot of stuff to show you guys so I'll give you a haul when we get back 
so i got some stuff from cotton on i got it from like the eye body shop not it's a bit more loungewear clean girl sort of got um vibes then i got quite a lot from glassons like i got a lot from here to be fair but everything's so cheap like honestly the, the i'll go into it but it feels unreal quality and it was so cheap like i just couldn't believe it and then guess where we went we went to target and i got just i didn't get loads from target but i got a few little things so i'll give you a haul of all of that the target wasn't like a, an amazing one it didn't really look like the one mckenna goes to it looked more I don't know, it's just like very close space. There wasn't a lot of like hygiene shopping, which I always got the vibe Target was a bit more, have more stuff like that. So we're fresh face anyway, not going to bother doing the makeup today. I've literally scraped my hair off and we're going to head into Brisbane. So I'll see you guys there. Brisbane. Okay, guys, we made it. We actually jumped on the scooters to finish it off, but this is safe and it's so quiet here. This is what we're looking at. Like the streets are literally deserted. But I think the beach is down here and apparently from you guys telling me it's a man-made beach called Street what Beach. Well, it's very cool. I've never been to a man-made beach before. I'll show you there's, there's like baths, a pool basically and then sand up the hill. Ollie just wanted to get a Ben and Jerry's ice cream so we went in but there was pigeons all on the worktop so we just came out. <laughs> Not really the vibe. We're en route to the Kitty Cat, which is like a ferry boat that apparently takes you all down the river and gives you like stunning views of the city, so that's what we're gonna do. And she's right here. Oh, there's not even to part. Once again, folks, it's free. You do not need to ask if it's free, it is free. <laughs> it's <a> gross, <laughs> morning guys sorry i'm so bad at closing off the vlogs i just like stop doing whatever we're doing and then i just stop vlogging but good morning we are somewhere really exciting today we're actually at steve Irwin's zoo i think it just goes as australia zoo now but we really wanted to come somewhere and like see all the animals and i thought this is a like oh it's like an iconic place in australia to go and see because it's run by his family now like his kids and his wife so i feel like it's going to be a really fun day we just got the tickets online we had to drive about an hour but we were headed this way anyway so we thought that it was the perfect time to come so let's go and spend the day at the zoo i haven't been like anywhere like this obviously since we've been here and i haven't been to a zoo I don't really go to them <laughs> so i haven't seen any but we're like we haven't seen any koalas we've seen kangaroos in the wild and that was so fun but we, but we haven't seen any koalas or like any of the other animals so we're really excited so come along with us we're gonna have a fun day day out i'm just gonna do my hair i've just quickly got changed i'll give you the haul of everything i got yesterday later i promise but i've just got this outfit on from cotton on really cute just little shorts little top so let me just sort my hair out and then i'll see you guys there guys this has got to be the cutest thing look at these little locks on <laughs> it really reminds me of sash here and there's so much cool stuff there's little turtles in the water and there was a huge tortoise like so crazily huge i'm going to show you it's just over here there's so much and it's really quiet it's nice there's more he's just had a little nap but he walked all the way from over there we were hoping he'd go and have a bath but he's just chilling so i reckon he's gonna have a bath in a minute do you <laughs> Ollie knows him so well. Oh, he's got to be like 100 years old because they live to like huge. dead old, don't they? Oh, look at his little... And he's a big boy. He's so big. Guess what we're looking at? Koalas. They're all asleep. That one just woke up. And had a little stretch, but they're like asleep holding on to the branches. It's so cute. Oh, it moves this little ear now. 
Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Mr. Koala. This is the cutest thing ever. He's about to stay. <laughs> They're so tired. Guys, I know we've seen them in the wild, but we haven't seen them this close because we were a bit scared. <laughs> Look how cute. He's having a drink. You can get food from guest services. We didn't realise you had to bite there. So we're going to get some in a bit and then come back. And maybe you can feed them, obviously, if they let you. We're going to come back and feed them, which would be so cute. Hey, hey guys, you, so if, if we brought him in, you, 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 he was in three. Why are you sweet? I don't know. I don't know. I just know that's why he's here. Yeah. He, he had a, he had some issues, so we couldn't send him back out. A lot, a, a lot of them here, I see, because we were born here. He's here because, unfortunately, uh, at the age that we... Look at a little baby giraffe. 45 kilograms of, of uh, leaves a day. Four, what, a giraffe can? 45 kg. I can even pick that up. See if he's heavy as me. They must just constantly be eating, wouldn't they? Oh my god, I saw you right. I can see a rhino. Giraffes are my grandma's favourite. Giraffes are my grandma's favourite animal, so I just took loads of photos and videos to send to her. She loves them, like, she's obsessed with giraffes. So, Carol, when you're watching, this is me with a giraffe. Well, actually, no. I've walked past them now, but those are the rhinos over there, Rol. Maybe that's what we should start doing, covering our skin in mud. That's what, that's what rhinos do. They're over there, if you can see them. Ooh, they tickled me. Hello, guys. Right, we are back from the zoo. And honestly, that was probably one of my favourite days ever. Like, it was so nice. Like, the fact we got to twitch a koala bear and we fed the kangaroos and it was just a really nice environment like we were just saying like compared to the zoos back at home like we've been to a few when we were younger it was like such a nice um one sec, the car still on. Oh. um it was such a nice environment and i feel like you could tell how much everyone cared about the animals which was really nice so we would definitely definitely recommend that anyway time for the haul so the stuff that i got from cotton on is actually the stuff that i'm wearing so i got this blue like skin zest top it's so soft it's not that like slinky material it's more of like a soft like cottony it's really nice so as you can see it's not super see-through either got a size small and then i just got these like little pajama style shorts i couldn't tell whether these were being sold as pajamas or as shorts but i thought they looked really comfy and then I liked it, it was a bit like Lululemon, they give you like a tote bag instead of a bag, so you got to pick, and I got this pink one, because I thought that's so cute, it can be like a nice beach bag. Then, what I got from Glassons, which I just can't believe how cheap this shop is, it feels like three times, no, not three times, sorry, it's three, it's, Zara is three times more expensive, but it feels like Zara quality, probably even better quality, so I got quite a lot from here. So the first thing that I got were these shorts, these like blue just like casual shorts these were 15 pound i got these all in a size small so i got the baby blue and then i also got a gray pair i feel like i just didn't really bring like i feel like i just needed a few more bits sort of to wear here and i thought i'll wear these at home loads too so i got the exact same in gray i feel like i'll just be able to wear these a lot of different ways so i got those but they feel so soft and thick and i feel like zara would sell these for like 20 pound so we love that and then these tops i got three tops from there first one i got was this gray one just a nice like tank top this was i got this in a size extra small to small but if you just turn that down a bit please this was only 10 pound now i'm sorry zara would be selling these for 20 pound um the quality is insane, like I can't really explain. I was talking to the shop assistant and I was like, I just can't believe how cheap it is. And she was like, I know, like it's incredible. Then I got the, ex well, I picked the white one up first and then I thought for £10, I might as well get the grey. So I got this white one. I feel like that is just like the perfect white tank for spring, summer. I feel like I could wear it with all of these shorts. So we love that. My hair, and your hair just suddenly goes so greasy. That is my situation right now. 
and then finally i got this like olivey green one i got this in an extra small and this was 10 pound too now i low-key wish i would have got more of these but there wasn't that many in an extra small like they had a lemon color they had a baby pink color they had black like a darker khaki they had loads but they didn't have them in extra small and i feel like an extra small would be my preferred size so it's let me just compare this one was more expensive this one actually feels thicker they diff they feel different but i really love the green and i feel like i'll wear the green a lot with different things like here and at home so that's everything i got from glass and so that come to like 50 pound or something for all that and i thought that's literally like primark prices and honestly the quality is insane and then finally a little target haul i can't believe i can say that so i got this tripod because i didn't bring one with me and i feel like it would just be useful to get like cute silly videos and stuff so i got this just a phone tripod it's not i don't think the camera will go in it i'm not sure this was only six dollars so i was like we would never get that from b&m then i got one for the for the um air vents i thought that's good for like filming tiktoks and stuff so i got that that was like one no three dollars so it's like one pound fifty and then i got these tinted lip balms they didn't have loads of stuff in there but i thought i had to try these because they looked they were like tinted so i got three i thought i'll give mia one too um couldn't get one without getting one for her so i got these three here i got like a peachy one more of a cream one and then Oh no, so that was just a lip balm and then these ones are tinted lip balms. So I'm intrigued to try them. Um, let's try this peach one. These were like $3 or $1.50. They were really cheap. Okay, this is how it looks. I feel like the packaging looks so good for the price. Smells really good too. I felt like that's so good. Feels really moisturising. I like that it has just like a bit of colour. Oh my god, slay from Target. So cute. Anyway, we're at our next destination though, which is the Sunshine Coast. So we made a little bit of a I don't know, really know what other word to use other than fuck up so we sort of like loosely planned obviously the trip of like where we wanted to go like we didn't have set dates but we had like loose plans and how it's ended up is i was trying to book like a site for us to park the van on for the like this for the sunshine coast and then where we wanted to go next was this place called noosa because ollie's friend said like it's the best place he's ever been and like a lot of people have recommended us to go and spend like substantial amount of time there so i was sort of getting byron bay vibes so i was like well we enjoyed that so much like let's have three nights there and then that works out really well for the stuff that we want to do to like end the trip so i was looking and just like everywhere was sold out and like booking all of these sites that we've booked on this road trip like we've never really had any sold out there's always room like even if we've booked like super last minute like on the way there within half an hour like there's always really been room so i was like why is everything sold out and then like i looked on there was nothing here in the sunshine coast there was nothing in noosa because i was like maybe we'll just have to stay in noosa for longer and just drive like to the sunshine coast for a couple of days i don't know i was just trying to like think of a way around it all booked up all sold out so i was like something fishy's going on so i googled it and there's like the biggest surf event in australia is happening here this weekend at noosa so i was like damn so that was it sure our weekend plan to go then i feel like one it probably wouldn't give us the same vibe because it's going to be so busy and we basically couldn't get a, a spot anywhere and this place said it was sold out but then we come through the website on a different angle and it gave us room with because there's really pretty like caravans and like i think they call them cabins but really cute and we thought maybe we'd have to book that and just pay and just like park this on the car park because there was those available but we managed to get one for here um so i don't really know what we're gonna do maybe we'll just have to like go i don't know what are we gonna do no i know about the noosa situation oh, man, I, don't know. I really don't know that's obviously basically why everywhere in the area was sold out like the only place that they had room was like 40 minutes north but it was only like the middle of nowhere to drive to new so you had to like go all the way around so it just wouldn't really be 
be it. So maybe we'll just have to on the way to our next destination, like just spend the day. I don't know. We'd need to figure it out. But I was like, okay, well, I guess that was bound to happen to us at some point. It's been very plain sailing up until now. So I guess we can't moan. But I was just like, what are the chances of that? The biggest surfing event happens on the weekend that we want to be there. So yeah. I am going to chill for a little bit because we've had such a long day. It's only quarter to five, but saying that the sun's going to set in an hour and a half because the sun sets so early up here, like half past six. So it's like being at home, but apparently at home now, we saw a reel yesterday. The sun isn't set until past five, so that feels really nice to go home to. But we're only halfway, which is crazy. We were saying earlier, it feels like we've been here for so long, but I feel like the net, like the last bit of the trip always goes really quick. So I don't know how to really feel but yeah that's what we're up to i'll show you when we leave here well go and explore and whatever but i'm just gonna have a little bit of a chill for a bit good morning guys why am i always so back we just come for breakfast we've got a banana smoothie a ham and cheese pass on probably got a coffee and he says it's good and a blt We'll eat this and then we'll catch up. Hello guys, oh my god, I've got you set up on the tripod. It looks so cute. <gasps> what an elite setup. I didn't think that my camera would fit, but honestly, this is probably the best tripod I've ever had. I can't believe it was three pounds from Target. We just made it to Moulaba. Moulaba. I don't know how to say it. Beach. It's meant to be like the fourth highest rated beach in Australia. And it's beautiful. Sorry, you just ran out of storage. I hope you can hear me because it is kind of windy. So we're just gonna have a day at the beach because we haven't had a day at, a be at the beach for a couple of days and it's just so nice. It's like not too hot today, it's about 26, but I've got to put you guys on something. I don't know whether they sell this in England. They need to, like I feel like becoming a stockist myself and I'll just sell them on behalf of it. We tried this at Ellie's wedding and like we both just fell in love with it. It's the best fizzy drink I've had in a while. Um, it's called Solo Original Lemon and then we just saw a zero sugar one so I got that just because I feel like I'm eating so much and that's fine because we're on holiday but I was like I'm going to go for the zero sugar option to try it. But honestly we've got such an elite setup here I love it. So let me give you a little pan. I think actually I can just spin you. Um, I'm not sure how it works. I'll just pick you up. Okay so we came from up there where those sort of like skyscrapers are. This is the beach. Ollie is somewhere over there, I don't know if you guys can see. And then this is the beach. Sorry, it's very windy. We just had a little bit of a mishap. Um, the drinks nearly fell over. All right, let me just move these here. I've got this Sheen bikini on, if you can see. I never wear a bandeau because I hate my shoulders. It's such a weird, like, insecurity. I don't know why, but I just don't really like myself in... I feel like it just needs tightening and then it'll stay. Um, I don't really like myself in bandeau. I don't know why. But I thought let's get rid of some tan lines. So yeah, we're going to spend the day here. So I'll show you what we get up to. But I just thought I'd say good morning. I'm so happy to be here still. I just love it. I think we're about halfway through the trip now. So it feels crazy because we've been here for so long. Um, we've got half left. So yeah, speak to you guys in a bit. Ollie has got himself like sunk in the sea. It's took me like 10 minutes but I'm taller than him. He's like sunken in the sand. So I was like, I have to get this and go and get a video. you guys survived that because honestly less bad things have happened to you and you've turned off this week um so yeah that's what we're up to it is time wow. reference 25 to 3 we want to watch the sunset because we didn't catch it yesterday where we were but i think if we travel more we're quite probably half an hour away from where we were staying 
and you can see more in the direction. So I think tonight we'll move a little bit further and then we should be able to see the sunset. So that's what I'm hoping. And that's going to be the plan really. It gets starkly super early so we can't really make much evening plans. So I'll show you the um, lunches here I'm so excited. It's really cute. It's called the Coffee Club and it's literally right opposite the beach. Let's try this. This looks so good. This is exactly what the doctor ordered for me. Guys, we're planning to watch the sunset, but yet again, there's not really a sunset. Honestly, when you see these TikToks on, um, when you see these videos on TikTok, and it's like Australian sunsets are unmatched. I'm yet to say. We're literally like such sunset lovers. And we've barely seen any cute ones. I think it's just because it's so cloudy, but this is what we currently can see. That's the cutest part, but the sun's actually setting like just in between these two trees. But this is all it is. So we got the scooters day in. I'll give you an OATD in a moment, but I've got more money clothes on, so I feel good. Hello guys, right, this is my outfit. This is the Glassons top. The only thing that I need to add is my necklace. I've just got my Zara tracers on. And then normal shoes, the birds are like in Byron Bay, they're really loud. Should we turn around away from those birds? We just went in a little souvenir shop and I got something for the baby because I haven't even spoken about this on YouTube because it's obviously been a secret. And when me and Roni announced on, on Sunday, but me is pregnant and it's so fun so I just put something for the baby but it is actually colour coded so I can't tell you because I know the gender of the baby and you guys don't yet so I can't show you and I don't know when she's announcing the gender I think it might be once I'm home so you guys can see it when I give it her because I think then the dates will line up but really cute just got the baby something so yeah it's been so weird to keep like keep a secret even though it's not my secret but yeah it's finally out so i didn't play in the last vlog um but we are just having a little mooch around we neither of us are that hungry because we ate quite well at like three wasn't it i think so neither of us are super hungry but we're just gonna have a little walk around i don't really know but yeah this is the outfit anyway <laughs> we have moved we're still on this i can't put you anywhere in this van it's so inconvenient we're still on the sunshine coast but we are at a place called coolum beach and it looks stunning it looks a lot not nicer than where we were because it was still nice but it just looks like it i don't know it has a different vibe when we drove in we were like yeah it was only like 25 minutes so this is 20 minutes away from noosa which is where we wanted to go but obviously that's where the surfing competition is so everywhere's a bit busy um ollie's just checking in because he booked it in his name this i found it i dropped it but i found it under the chair it's so nice i wish i got more i really like it um so yeah i'll show you once that sorry had no storage um so yeah we've moved on so i think what we're going to do is sort of explore here today and then we've got two nights here so tonight and tomorrow and then tomorrow or maybe the next day so there's like the surf competition and we really want to go and watch it because we're like because we don't really get it at home we're like in awe whenever anyone's surfing we're just like watching them it's crazy because it feels like such a skill so i think we might go to the surf competition because i think they just like so i think anyone can go and watch i think they just surf from 7 a.m and there's like different categories and is it tomorrow there's like a dog <laughs> dog surfing bit there's like a whole week of things i imagine if you're into that like surfing culture it's probably like the highlight of your year it looks so much fun there's like it's like a festival i guess so yeah that's going to be the plan so i just need to get myself changed because i've just got some leggings on it's so hot i've got the aircon on it's quarter to ten you can't normally check in till ten but it looks as though ollie is checking away so did i tell you guys about the curry we had the other day oh no my hair bob was clean we were just talking about how much we're missing sunday dinners like a lamb sunday roast oh i just don't really think they've got anyone's going to do it here i'm going to go on my mission on instagram to find somewhere that does a sunday dinner on sunday or just like lamb 
chops or something with some mashed potato and some gravy we just really hit the spot right now because that's like our food you know some broccoli some mint sauce but we really fancied an indian i don't know if i always told you and it was green oh i think i did such a shame because it just didn't hit the spot um i don't know if i told you or mia i don't know it's so confusing but we were so excited and it was rubbish um ollie's coming back now so see where we see where we've got a park where are we that way what's new you guys we've got a so Good evening guys. I never vlog in here because I feel like it's just not really the vibe but I haven't really spoke to you today much because ah uh, you're rocking. We went to the beach which I think you guys saw. We grabbed an acai bowl, we went to the beach and the weather just wasn't really it today. It was quite windy. It was still really hot and the UV was still like seven but it just wasn't like super hot it, and like the wind is just like do you know you know you're lying on a beach like i thought i could be in england right now and we were both really tired so we were like let's just have a no pressure day so we had a few hours at the beach we came back we played chess because that's what we've been doing i'm trying to get good ollie's pretty good so i'm trying to learn off him so we did that we've just honestly just had a really nice like chill day which i feel like we haven't had since being here um ollie's just going to grab a domino's for dinner because there's one literally over the campsite so i'm so excited for that and i also did a little bit of shopping i didn't intend to we were walking back and then i saw this it's called ganda i've been in like four times i've tried on a dress from there but i loved the dress tried it on with a scrape backbone and it was like a hair down moment and i was like i just hate myself in it but i've been in quite a lot because they have really cute stuff but i only went in really just to have a little look at um for a black bikini because if you guys watch the pack with me i've got this like black asos dress but it's like crochet quite open knit and it needs like something black underneath like black underwear or a bikini and stupid me didn't bring either so i thought if i could just grab myself a black bikini because i'd like to wear it to noosa tomorrow so anyway so i went in and first of all i just found this necklace this was only well this was ten dollars so five pound it's just like you know like the shell one and then i just thought this was very holiday i've got a outfit picked out for when we go on a day trip somewhere and i feel like this would just be like the perfect necklace to wear on that day so i got that then i grabbed this yellow cap because i thought so cute this was only i'm tempted to even go and buy more so this was 40.95 dollars which so let's say 15 dollars seven pound fifty and that beautiful and they look like they're going to fit me really well i had my hair obviously like not down so i couldn't really try it on but it looks really nice and the lemon i thought would go really cute with my new coach bag which is yellow so i got that i feel like i love a cap they really sorry ignore my hair just well i haven't washed it i've wet it i'm gonna put a hair mask in it and then either wash it tomorrow or just have it sleek tomorrow i've not yet decided i'm gonna look at the weather um but yeah i thought that cap was so cute i couldn't leave it especially for the price and then this is the black bikini so i went in and like they only had very like colorful bikinis and i was like damn so i said to the shop assistant oh i'm just looking for a black bikini i was like i don't really think you guys have got any do you you know because they only had a little swimwear section and she was like oh she's like i don't think we do and then she was like hang on she said we did get some delivered but she was like we sent them back why well, i don't know she was like let me just have a little look around the stock room and there was a small so i was like yes so i got this black bikini like i said well it's a size eight she said it was a small you know it's a size eight actually because i don't really i think australian sizes is equivalent to uk sizes so hopefully this fits me anyway it's literally just a plain black bikini little triangle bottoms and then nice little panties it feels really good quality though and this was 45 dollars so 23 pounds so i got literally all of that for like 35 pound which i thought not bad and honestly that was just what i needed and then these were kind of impulse purchases so that's what we're up to this evening nothing crazy at all i just did my skincare i've been kind of neglecting my skincare just because it's easy to but the last few nights i've made like a conscious effort are you rocking um, I've made a conscious effort to go and do my skincare and like because I've obviously been moisturizing from being in the sun but don't know it's just been nice to have that like 
I don't know, it's not even five minutes sometimes, but just after my shower, instead of like rushing back out, I'm like, no, let's do my skincare, let's, you know, brush the hair, cuticle oil on the nails, and just sort of feel nicer. So, yeah, that's what we are up to. That's the update. We're going to have Nan, um, Domino, sorry, Nan. He's here with it now. Jared? Yeah. That, that was a large pizza, but it's just come medium. What else did you get? Well, it, it must be larger, I don't know. Mac, oh. mac and cheese and... I'm so excited to try it. And uh, garlic bread. Mate, 15 quid. For all this? Yeah. Shut up. I don't think it's going to fill me up there, but... I'm yeah. not that hungry. Let me just show the box. Who did they open? What oh, this side. Mac and cheese. Nom 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 nom. That garlic bread. Yeah. Do they have Texas barbecue? That is what it is. Well, that's their Ooh. closest equivalent. Okay, guys. We're going to eat this and I will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to, I was going to say American, welcome back to Australia. It is currently 8.23 and we are at Noosa. Well, we're a bit outside Noosa because we just ditched the van and then there's like free shuttle buses um, all weekend. So we're going to go, shit, we're going to go into Noosa for the day. I'm so excited because everyone told us to come here and it's meant to be really nice. And just like the little bit that we drove down looked really nice. So this is the outfit. It's ASOS design and then my coach bag. So this is... How we look, no makeup, but we're gonna have a fun day here. So get excited, but we're just waiting for the bus. It's three minutes away. Hello guys, we made it. We just went for a little walk around. We grabbed a coffee, it was horrible though. Um, so I didn't bother showing it. But we have just, we were sort of in the shade because it, it was quite hot in the sun. But the surfing competition is going on over there. We're just like on the back of the beach on a bit of grass. Um, it's really cute, the shops. Everyone said on TikTok it was a little bit more upmarket and I can tell like a lot of the shops are a bit more expensive shops, but it's really nice here. So we're just watching the surfers dreaming about being a little surfing family because there was a um, family challenge and one of the tits said there was like a dad and a daughter, but they were like grown up. And then there was this little boy who was probably like four or five. He was little. Six, seven. Yeah. Like that, yeah. And he was doing the surf competition with his dad and I just thought that is so cute. I just thought, imagine how cool you to feel like, yeah, I'm doing the competition with my dad. So, yeah, that's what we're up to. I will show you when we have a little move around. But right now, this is the cell. Hello. Right. The last place I spoke to you, I think we were headed into Noosa. We had a really lovely day in Noosa, to be fair. The only sort of... I got as much clips as I could. What really annoyed me is it was literally the only day that I didn't take my GoPro out. And it was the only day where we really needed the GoPro. But we walked to the fairy ponds. So I saw on TikTok that these fairy ponds, it's about 45 minute like coastal walk. And I'd seen mixed reviews. Like some people being like, oh my God, beautiful. And then some people being like, when the tide is really high, not when the sea's like angry, let's say it's quite traumatic and we definitely had the latter version of that because it was like not stormy but it was like raining it was quite cloudy and there was like two pools we went in the first one because there was other people in there at that point and ollie was like swimming in the pool but you couldn't see the floor and you couldn't touch the floor in the big in the first one so we was a bit like sketchy and i was like sat on the rock and this like huge wave like come behind me obviously i knew it was sort of coming but i could just see ollie's face like and it, I thought this is taking me out. Like, I don't know how, but I managed to keep myself up on the rock. But there was like, I was sat on a rock and then there was a rock in front of me. And I thought, if this knocks me, I'm literally going to smash my head on the front of the rock. Everyone was laughing at you as well. Yeah, everyone was like, because I was the only one on the rock on that side. Everyone else is in the water. And like, there was these like two, there were like two lads, weren't there? They were with two girls, like two couples. And the lads were like, <laughs> and I was just like, oh no. I just tried to act really cool but I thought I don't like it I want to get out and then the other one you could touch the force so it wasn't so bad um and then yeah it literally stormed so we walked back and it was just like storming on us and um, wet season is really in full force right now in Australia so 
yeah Noosa was really good I definitely recommend you guys go I wouldn't say you need loads of time there like you, we saw it in a day yeah. Ollie's like one of Ollie's friends was like it was my favourite place and then the other one was like it is really nice but also you can see it in a day and I feel like we did see it in a day like we went to Hastings Street which is where all like the restaurants are there were some nice shops and um, obviously the surf competition was on so the beach was quite busy um, but like we saw the fairy pond so I'd say you can do it in a day but did definitely you get the surfing dogs? yeah it was it was sick we were literally like this Ollie felt really I like didn't really Not think of all of them some no, of yeah. Look scared. Some of them looked scared, and then I was thinking like, oh, like I don't know whether this is nice. But then one man come out completely, and then he went back out with his surfboard. And, like his dog like ran after him and jumped on the surfboard. So I was like, okay, obviously they're used to it. Like some of them weren't doing waves. I feel like the only ones that were going on the waves, obviously, were the ones that were used to going on the waves with proper surfers. Because like the pink one, she was like a bit like Frankie, like a cockapoo. She was just like she was on all fours and her parents were just pushing her on the surfboard so obviously yeah but it was really fun i thought when are we ever going to see dogs surfing again like probably never ever so the most australian thing i've ever seen in my life if i've ever seen it so yes noose are definitely very good we've road tripped now up to early beach so this is going to be the end of australia vlog three and i'm going to start the next vlog today so we're in early beach so that's like the whitsundays and like the great pardon me the great barrier reef and all of that so it's going to be really fun this week hopefully the weather stays nice it's quite sunny right now but last night we got stuck in a monsoon but by the time we got here it was quite dark so i thought i'll just talk to you guys today but where else have we seen in this vlog gold coast sunshine coast i would say gold coast again you don't need all that much time there unless you want to do like the theme parks there's a lot of theme parks there but i'm not really that bothered about theme parks i don't like big thriller roads like i like just a very easy road so um there's lots to do but i wouldn't say like you need loads of time Sun sunshine coast i would say there's a lot of nice beaches and i would hop like we did just like hop around and see the different beaches around so yeah all in all a lovely week i feel like my tan's really <laughs> developed this week um yeah i feel like that's all about it i will put all my recommendations on my instagram but if you want to know any specifics like where we stayed then i guess at the end of the trip maybe i'll just make a list of all the campsites we stayed at if you guys want to do it or if you are planning on doing it then let me know because i have made a list on my phone and yeah i really enjoyed this week i feel like it's been chilled but i'm excited to be somewhere new this is actually the place that my friend is moving to so my friend l who we went to her wedding she lives well just outside melbourne but she's moving here so i was really excited because i thought obviously she loves it for a reason so she sent me loads of recommendations of like restaurants and places to eat and like different walks to do and all of that so i'm very excited the only sad part is you can't go in the sea here at this time of year without like a wetsuit because there's like a fatal jellyfish in the water which is so weird so we can't go in the beach but there's like a man-made like lagoon she says it's called that you can sort of go in and sunbathe around so yeah very excited for this week thank you for watching thanks for coming along on the road with us we will see you next sunday with the penultimate australia vlog i love you guys so much please subscribe and have the best day and i'll see you very soon goodbye